Hi, good to see you back. In this video, we're going to learn how to look up the last occurrence of a certain value. Here I have a table that shows the names of customers, the travel dates and the locations they visited. I also have a drop down list of customers on cell E2. When I select a value from the drop down, I want the formula to figure out the last occurrence of the customer and return the location and the date here in cells F2 and G2. The normal question here would be, why not use VLOOKUP or MATCH? Simply because both these functions always look up the first occurrence of a value, but we are trying to look up the last one, that's why. So before we start off, there is a little experiment I'd like to show you. Notice here I've got TRUE and FALSE in two separate cells. Let's add 0 to both and see what happens. After adding a 0 to both, TRUE gives us a value of 1 and FALSE gives us a value of 0. So what do you think that tells us? It tells us that TRUE has the value of 1 and FALSE has a constant value of 0. However, the truth is Excel treats 0 as FALSE and any non-zero number as TRUE. Keep this thing in your mind. Let's see how we can use it later on. Let us start with a formula on cell F2. To start with, let's compare cell E2 to the customer's column and see what we get. Notice I've made both the references absolute. On the formula bar, let's select the whole formula and press the F9 key to evaluate the results of the formula. We get an array of trues and falses. Hope you still remember what I taught you earlier. True has the value of 1 and false has the value of 0. Control Z to undo. Wrap this expression between parentheses and divide this whole array of trues and falses by 1. Let's evaluate the expression once again using F9. Wherever there was true, we get 1 as the answer because 1 divided by 1 is 1. But wherever there was false, we get a divide by 0 error because we cannot divide a number by 0. Now we have an array of 1s and divide by 0 errors. This array will be used as the lookup vector for the lookup function. One thing to know about lookup function is that it always does an approximate match. What that basically means is it will try to look for an exact match till the end of the array. And if it cannot find it, it will start checking again from the bottom to find the nearest less than value which will be 1 in this case, when the customer matches. It means a lookup value will always have to be greater than 1 for the lookup function to work. Alright. So let's put the lookup function at the start and use lookup value as 2. 2 is larger than any number in our lookup vector of 1s and divide by 0 errors. And for the result vector, let's select location column and lock only the row reference so that when we move across, it works fine. Close parentheses and hit enter. Drag it across one cell. Change the customer and check if the values being returned are correct. Perfect. If you want to download the exercise file to follow along, click on this link right here and click on the Dropbox icon. Also don't forget to like my video and subscribe to my channel if you think my videos are helpful. Cheers.